In the calories, for example, if you put a piece of curry on any fashion item, yeah, everybody goes, oh, that guy is fetish. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you, you wear to church, everybody will give you this look. Yeah. You know, but the truth is that curry has always been part of nature. These are seashells. Ex exactly. Like I always say, my principle or uh, my secret to being exceptional is always doing the alternative. Mm -hmm. Alternative is always, you know, it's, it's, it's associated with authority for me, from my own perspective. Right. The, when you are alternative, you are doing what everybody feels is not normal. Yeah. So when, once you have that alternative power, you would always shine. Mm. You always dominate. Okay. So... Take for example, these beads, you can just go to the market, like these pieces I have yeah. now. Um, but you can just go, you might see them and pass, mm -hmm. okay? But I took a deliberate effort to see how I can make neck pieces for guys that they can rock with, like this sweatshirt I'm wearing right yeah, now. Yeah. They can wear this, they can wear um, a button-up shirt mm -hmm. and still, you know, free some buttons, yeah. which still go. Yeah. They can wear a turtleneck, it's to still mm. fall. So being deliberate on the conventional, everybody would probably put the multiple colors and stuff. Even my carry species, mm. uh, when the model come, you will see how they look. Yeah. They're unisex. I try to tell stories with my accessories. All right. Mm. Mm. So, tell stories. Right. Yeah, I tell stories with my accessories. So um, like the piece I have on my neck, probably when she comes, I'll put it on her and then yeah. you know, tell you the story behind it. Yeah. So that ability to create from a perspective where when you're selling a piece of craft mm -hmm. to somebody, mm -hmm. you know, um, you, you can you tell the person, this is what inspired this. Mm -hmm. This is a story behind this. All right. Like this piece here, I made it a long time ago. Yeah. And you say it's your designer that I gave you. I mean, I was styled. I okay. mean, little did we know that this was a Jimmy okay. Navy piece. So <laughs> at the time I made this piece, I was still very naive in creating wow. accessories. That was, this is far back as um, 2013, 14. Wow. Right? That's when I made this piece. At the time, I didn't even know how to really play with colors. Yeah. And I didn't even know how to value my beads at the time. So that's why you notice all of these beads that are here, I have only a few of them. I don't have them anymore. And they're okay. not producing this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So at the time, I wanted to tell the story about um, the African press, mm -hmm. you know. And then there was rumor that Coming to America 2 was going to be released. Mm -hmm. So I was making this with a futuristic mindset. Oh, wow. Wow. I was I was saying... Um, there will be a time where Africa would, uh, Africa stops would be like the premium of yeah. everything. Yeah. And we are in that time now. This is exactly. 2020, yeah. you know, and everything. And then these things are becoming relevant. Yeah, exactly. So it is that futuristic um, mindset yeah, exactly. that keeps my, my craft top notch. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And then this is also a situation like, you know, um, bringing the past mm. down here because remember when we had our pre-interview we, we talked about the fact that all of this started from Africa yes it did you it know did. and then was taken away and made it look as though it was it, not it African yes. and then now it's like we're trying to get it back but no it had always you it, know it has always been because like you know I read somewhere somebody said um, what the, the slave masters mm. can't take away you know they demonize it and leave it with us mm. oh gosh you know wow so if, if sorry what the slave masters cannot take, take away, away from they us, demonize it and, and leave it with us with so us. we we can't use it if they can't use it yeah so um like uh, so if you see the madagascar carries and the the conventional carries the madagascar carries are called they, they have these coatings like leopard skin mm -hmm. all right probably in the post-production i'll send you pictures they have this leopard skin feel they are big almost like a baby fist Mm -hmm. that big mm -hmm. so um the, the thing is that africa has all of these beautiful things all right my craft also is a way of saying activating I, i'm sorry being an activist okay, okay. And, and also activating young people minds that oh africa these things are not demons no demonic yeah. as, as they are being portrayed mm -hmm. the seashell which is a carrot mm -hmm. 
are got to, are, are the same as the pearls. The pearls, some of our pastors' wives were yeah. exactly. They are from the same seed. So why would you demonize one, one and then uplift yeah, one? Yeah, and, yeah, And and then there are some pearls that are so expensive. The Very expensive. Size, I mean, the queen uses pearls. You exactly. can only imagine. So they are from you know they are from and funny the funny part about the shells um sorry the pearls is they come from discomfort oh, wow. of of um Oyster. love oysters also yeah so these oysters when they're eating they are, they eat sand into their you know shells and yeah. all that so the process of always trying to process you know yeah. that they rub off on the shell wow. okay. of the inner part of the oyster and then as time goes on that little stone becomes wow. a very big stone wow wow we so, learn every day yeah, so never knew about that <laughs> so they, when they get the oysters and they open them up they yeah get the pearl, then oh, they wow. ask, so that is the pearls are yeah. often not the same shape yeah, yeah. But the ones you see that are almost the same shape are the ones that were man you yeah, know, manipulated. And all. Uh, they were man manipulated. And it says that they got some really round bits and then forcefully open the oysters okay. and put them oh, inside. Okay, okay. So as they live with them for a, a while, yeah. wow. they now become wow. those perfect shapes. Wow, this is this is a well of knowledge I've just acquired right now. Wow, yeah. thank you so so much, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so much more I could ask you about for you know for want of time, which is yeah. always the issue. But on a final word now, to all the creatives who are watching, yeah. to all the people who would want to aspire to be where Jimmy, you know, is at right now, what would you what word of advice would you give them in terms of? weathering the storm in the creative industry because i mean we both know it could be extremely difficult originality has never gone out of fashion key originality original. just be original oh. and be authoritative about your craft yeah be authentic yeah for for somebody like me i don't care if if you would come to my um workspace and buy a bracelet for four thousand i don't care mm. But I'll tell you that is, that bracelet is four thousand, and yeah, I stand by it. Exactly. Now that can only happen if what you are creating is not in the conventional or the exactly. regular market. Exactly. So most um, entrepreneurs or most creatives are not original. Mm. They duplicate a lot. So you see, um, Mr. A is doing a H um, T-shirt. Mr. B is doing a H T shirt mm. with a different fabric. Yeah, Mr. C yeah, is doing a H, yeah. uh, you know, T shirt yeah. with a different font. Yeah. So they are all mirroring themselves. Exactly. That's not what, much diversity. Exactly. So I, I would go and, and flip, even though I can go and do Z and mm. start pushing Z. You know, I can mix a little bit of Z, X, Y, mm. you know, in just cut and join. And create and a niche my own. that's peculiar. So authoritative um mindset. Authentic authenticity. And originality. And originality. It will always make way for you. As we all know, this particular color, the green, yellow, and red um, colors, which is very peculiar to Africa as a whole, but a lot of people think it's a Rastafarian color. But I'll break it down briefly so that you will get the real truth about it. So the green here originally symbolizes the wealth and you know rich culture of Africa as a people as a continent and then the yellow symbolizes our, our natural resources you know gold silver and any natural resources that you can imagine that can be found in africa and then the red symbolizes the blood that was spilled during slavery when the slave masters came to invade and steal from africa so those are the significance of green yellow and red so you can see here it's also um, very symbolic you know, the outfit she's wearing, you know, African art and craft culture and everything is deliberate. They are all stories. The, even this outfit she's putting on here has messages, hidden messages and codes, you know, embedded in them. They are not coincidence that they just have these patterns. They are all codes. Um, if you read deep into Africa, um, code, decoding and messages. So you can see I made this piece with the intention of um, passing a message that irrespective of how demoralized or demeaning Africa has been reduced to, uh, we still have beauty in Africa. So that's why you have this um, rose embedded pearl in the front of this neck piece. So um, there's another piece I have here. which is also very exceptional. African um, craft is beautiful. 
So you have this piece which is all is looking all royalty and all um, powerful and sophisticated. This piece was inspired by um, a client. I wanted to give um, um, traditional neck or accessories for. The meaning or the story behind this piece stands for triumph from you know just being a man, just being um, a boy to somebody who is going to be somebody's father for the rest of his life. So that's why I used the brown color, which symbolizes earth. And then I used um, these other colors here, which symbolizes, uh, you know, successful stones and all of that. And then I also have some other colors here, which symbolizes how many um, kids, you know, fertility. A lot of people don't talk about Men fertility, they talk about female fertility a lot in Africa, but I tried as much as possible to, you know, incorporate those um, colors into this piece of accessory here. So I'm just going to leave this here. So that's about how much I can take. Um, my name is Jimmy Made in Nigeria, and I'm so grateful for this beautiful model right here who came to help me out. Thank you so much, Miss um, Christabel. Uh, she used to be my junior colleague. I directed her when I was doing my degree and my um, final practicals as a directing student at the time. Thank you, Christopher, for coming. So thank you, Mr. Crystal, for having me at your show. Thank you so much. Jimmy made it. Peace and love. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah.